Welcome to Film Fanatics. Hidden Figures is a crowd-pleasing piece of entertainment deftly balancing two critical eras of mid-century America, Jim Crow segregation and our race to beat the Soviets into space. Octavia Spencer, Taraji P. Henson, and Janelle Monae portray three important employees at NASA in the 60s during the fledgling Mercury program, and their quietly heroic determination is something to behold. Adam, do these figures add up? Absolutely. This movie surprised the heck out of me. What were you thinking going in? I thought it that was, was just a traditional uh, underdog kind of a yeah, film? Yeah, I just thought it was going to be sort of this pleasant, uh, derivative, cliched thing. And I got something much more. I right. thought this movie was heartfelt, it's rousing, and it's got a lot to say. Not just about uh, NASA and their race to beat the Russians oh, to get a man sure. in space, but the civil rights and women's, and women's rights. rights. Uh, mm -hmm. movements and that's a lot of stuff to juggle in one movie and and they pull it and off be a crowd pleaser without being overly predictable you know John Glenn has a moment in here his character does. oh he's so great and it there's a bit a bit of poignancy with his passing a true American yeah. hero just a couple of weeks ago so I think that kind of helped um, Kevin Costner Kevin Costner Mr. Fantastic. Reliable uh, there's great. one particular scene in here Adam where he has to take down a sign, and oh. we won't go into any more details, but it's riveting. Just great sign removal. We don't have to say much about this film for you to understand that we love this film, but there's something else too, I have to say, Adam. Being in a theater with an all ca Caucasian audience. They loved it. The fact that people were giving ovations in several yeah. sections of this movie, especially where we are in our country right now, gives this, me such hope. You, it's a movie about unification. It is. It really is. All, these, all this fighting, the civil movement going on at that time, and you've got all these Americans standing together, hoping to God that John Glenn is going to make it back in yeah. one piece. It is poignant, and it's fantastic. And topical. And I mm -hmm. didn't feel like it was overly manipulative. You know, I, I don't right. think that it's the, uh, uh, it's not the cookie cutter kind of a movie. Right. It is a feel-good movie, but it certainly does yeah. take chances, and I really admire that. And we know where a lot of the stuff in this movie is going to end up, but it made it no less exciting. Right. Man, we're talking about Apollo 13-level yeah. excitement. Right. There's actually a lot of tension and in And maybe movie. considering the uh, moral themes involved even more poignant. So we say... Um it's got all the right stuff. Eh, skip it. Just <laughs> kidding. I, I actually see hidden figures. I am going to go further. I think it's one of 2016's best movies, and I never would have, I did not think that we was going to happen. surprises. So what's up next, Adam? So, Bruce, there's an independent movie called Moonlight, mm -hmm. and this movie is making a killing on the film festival circuit. In fact, in 2016, if you can believe this, it won more awards on the film festival circuit than both La La Land and Manchester by the right. Sea. Kind of a big deal. This gritty, thoughtful film chronicles the life of a Miami-based African-American in three different stages. It goes through his youth, his early teens, and adulthood. And man, I gotta tell you, tonally, all three stages are completely unique. And this movie goes in some directions I wasn't expecting. It's a gritty movie. There are elements of it that reminded me of Boys in the Hood from the early 90s. Right. Um, but it's much quieter. Well, yeah, it's very restrained. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't just deal with race. There's a lot going on in this movie. It, de it deals with sexuality. There's right. a lot of things going on. And I, I thought that it was, uh, it was beautiful. I think it's a terrific movie. Yeah, there are conventional themes that have been addressed in theater before. You mentioned some of them. Uh, poverty, bullying, which yeah. we've talked a lot about. It seems yeah, like every sometimes movie they go days. a little far with right. that, like they did in the Monster Calls. But, but I don't think anybody can say Moonlight doesn't address these in a way uh, that has ever been really addressed before. No. And it is a somber movie. There's a foreboding tone to each part of this boy's life. Like we're waiting Where for- Where is his life going? And it can't be possibly going anywhere good. There's almost yeah. like something bad is about to happen. I, I'm not sure this speaks to everybody. It's an important film. It's a groundbreaking film, but the way that it's handled is, um, it, it requires restraint and patience on the part of the audience. Where this movie goes, I mean, it's a story about redemption and forgiveness, and there's not a lot of judging going on in this no, movie, yeah, and I like right. that about it. And, that, and there's some big gaps in time that make you question what is going what on. What transpired, but it doesn't... There were some questions that I was asking, yeah. like, can you fight your destiny? Right. And this uh, made me a little uncomfortable. Uh, it does demonstrate how important fathers are. Yeah, absolutely. And then, of course, my biggest question when I came out of this, uh, Adam, is that if this was about a 
Caucasian mm -hmm. boy, would we care at all? I think the fact that it is about an African American but makes it even more important. It, it does, and, and there there are really amazing things. And you said the movie sort of bucks certain cliches, and it really does. I would I, be remiss to not mention uh, how beautiful the final moment in this movie yeah. is. That it, it's just. It's fantastic, and I'm glad it's winning awards. I love when the little independent movies make good, and it's a terrific movie, and it, very, very good. It, it is, we should point out, it is uncomfortable, some of the material Oh, for here, sure, right? for and, sure. And for those of us who watch a lot of movies, we don't mind being a little uncomfortable if there's a poignancy and a death. Hey to man, it. a, a good movie is a good movie, events, right? and it is playing in limited, but it's going wider uh, on Friday the 13th, go figure, <laughs> and it will be opening in St. George, Utah, right. so we highly so encourage two, everyone to see it. Two films we recommend, Adam, Hidden Figures and Moonlight. Both 2016 highlights, both very good movies. Excellent. Well, there you go, another episode of Film Fanatics. I'm Bruce Bennett, movie critic with madaboutmovies.org. And I'm Adam Mass with cinemass.net. And we're Film Fanatics. Are, Are you? you? Wow. Man, two great movies. Yeah. This back last, to back weeks, the last, last couple of weeks. Month. Well, yeah, we're getting so. all the sort of Oscar contenders are starting to go yeah. out wide. Yeah, we need them in February. Yeah. Well, <laughs> or how about September? I think both the films that we just talked about, we're going to see at the Oscars. Yeah, uh, for sure. They're going to be.